I'm Donna Avery, author of the book, Scared, Scarred, Sacred. The nine steps to get you from fear to freedom using mind, body, and spirit practices. I'm also a professional psychic, medium, and owner of Walks and Spirit, LLC. Everyone has spiritual gifts. Everyone has their own connection to the divine. Everyone has their own team of divine helpers. That's why I'm passionate about doing readings to demonstrate what's possible when you make practical spirituality part of your daily life. As you advance, so too will those connections to source and your divine helpers. Practice until you get the quantity and quality of information that helps you with the mundane task of life or those life and death decisions. Anything is possible when you flex your spiritual muscles and use mind body spirit exercises to identify and grow your abilities of course i have decades of practice and a family lineage that allows me to be able to see and connect in my own signature way i've been able to build my clear abilities to reach strangers in depth and in a safe respectful way that makes them feel comfortable seen heard and understood what i do was a calling i treat my clients in our sessions with the sacredness that they deserve. Readings are never just transactional, they're transformative. So maybe you can't do what I can do. Don't let that possibility discourage you from what you can do. Aren't you curious about your gifts? Aren't you curious what you could do with practice? I suspect you've already had instinctive nudges. I bet you've acted on strong gut instincts. No matter what you call them, those little divine nudges are small examples of your connection to the divine. You can go deeper than you can imagine. You are in control. This is your life. You have free will. And there's instructional things and people that can help. Without your permission, those divine helpers I talked about, they can't help. Except for the guardian angels. I've seen where they've acted on people's behalf because it wasn't their time to leave this earthly plane. The other members of your divine team, I know mine waited on the sidelines until I opened that door a crack and asked for help with one small thing, then another and another, until I was certain that they were trustworthy beings of light dedicated to God and good. But they and I are not going to force you to do anything. This is your life. Instead, we offer invitations I offer teachings and trainings. You're totally free to ignore it all and explore spirituality on your own. You may never have to do psychic, medium, or healing work, but if you are called to do so, eventually you will be pushed out of your comfort zone too because the world needs your gifts. So if you find yourself lost and wondering which direction to take at a crossroads in your life, ignore all that scary dark stuff. It can get pretty overwhelming. Your divine team is with you. All you need to do is ask for help or which way. These kinds of teachings are the kind of impactful connections I help clients make and information I love to demonstrate and teach. And this teaching doesn't have to happen only in readings. It also happens in books, well, like this current book. I lay out the nine stages that may cause people to stop moving forward in their lives and can stall them on their journey. Look, we all want to stay in the comfort zone of life, but when negative events show up, fear and traumas can paralyze us and make us feel distant from the religion, spirituality, or faith that once provided great comfort and peace in trying times. In this book, I call upon practical elements that you can use in your daily life. I'll suggest appropriate mind, body, and spiritual practices to help you reconnect to your essential core. I'll give you the overview where you might be stuck and how you can move forward. By the end of the book, I hope that you will have declared independence from fear and are well on your way to living the freedom that brought you to Scared, Scarred, Sacred. So if you're ready to walk in spirit with me and leave the swamps of stagnation or that cozy cave of comfort, Stag has showed up as our animal messenger for this book. He will lead us on this journey. Are you ready? Life can be a challenge, but you, Divine One, 
You are well equipped. And I'm ready to walk in spirit with you every step of the way.